The following contest is a tables match. The only way to win is to place your opponent through a table. Making his way to the ring, from Cameron, North Carolina, Jeff Harvey. Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. Talk about an enthusiastic crowd. They want to get this tables match started now. And approaching the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! Tables matches are so dangerous. One wrong move, and we may be seeing the last of one of these competitors here tonight. We're just moments away from one-on-one -on -one action here. What's he gonna do here? What's he gonna do here? <laughs> I think I just saw a tooth go flying. As a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, the only way to win this match is to drive your opponent through the table. And given the bad blood going on with these competitors, this one will undoubtedly be intense. And so what are your thoughts right now on John Cena? Well, what's your take right now on John Cena? Well, luckily the body hasn't absorbed too much of an attack up to this point. This arena is absolutely electric for John Cena. Keep your eye on Cena. Take it down with great force. The range of emotions here is starting. There's almost an unknowing of what to expect. I know. I, I mean, I got goosebumps. This match is going to be so unpredictable. I just can't wait. Well, when you look at the illustrious career of John Cena starting way back in 2002, and since then, 21 championships, an astounding accomplishment, and never a dull moment. Oh, you're right about that. And don't forget the 15 world championships. 11 reigns, of course, as the WWE champion. Cena's now showing signs of fatigue. If he keeps this up, this one will be over in no time. Cena with a textbook counter. Yeah, you know, I know some people don't want to hear it, but the truth is, John Cena is so technically sound. Oh, out of nowhere! Looks like he's pinpointing the back. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. Man, I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. I have a funny feeling that this is going to turn into a whooping. And now he goes for it a second time. Well, we're on the move here. 
When I see him attack the arm, it reminds me of how WWE Hall of Famer Arn Anderson would incapacitate an opponent's arm. Yeah, they actually should have called him Arm Anderson. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Quick thinking to avoid that. Ow! Ooh, I'm not sure I can watch this. The heart and soul of John Cena can never be equal. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Keep the action inside the ring. That's where you're going to win this thing. You know, Michael, it seems hard to believe that John Cena has held the WWE Championship more than 10 times. I know, Unreal. That sounds impossible. I remember the 10th time he won the title, taking it from Alberto Del Rio in Buffalo on the Night of Champions in 2011. That was the kind of a milestone that we might get to witness once in a generation. And we called the match. Yes. The chest cavity can only withstand so much abuse before it collapses. I hope we don't see that here. We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there, but only one can walk out victorious. Who will it be? You know, we were talking about the incredible way John Cena secured his 10th WWE Championship. The deck was stacked against him on that night of champions in 2011. Yes. He had to beat Alberto Del Rio, and the Mexican aristocrat had some help. But as he usually does, John Cena dug down deep. He beat the odds, and he claimed the title. Cena was a man possessed that night. Uh -huh. Cena was possessed, all right, Michael. And he did some repossessing, too. He stole Alberto's car before the match and entered the arena in it. Remember that? Of course I do. Cena was really trying to promote Del Rio, and it worked. Alberto was furious. You don't steal an aristocrat's automobile. You just don't do it. You can practically feel the wear and tear that's been done throughout this match. There's a point where all of your training goes right out the window and you rely on instinct. After getting beat twice with a weapon, you can bet this is one of those times. Great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. This is a wreck. He's moving like an uncaged animal. No lie, he's wild in there. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. I can't blame him. Keep it in the ring. Look at that, another merciless. There's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. WWE competitors tore this arena apart. Here's your winner, John Cena. A very decisive victory here tonight. Man, this is one of those wins you don't forget anytime soon. As we put the bow on this match, I can't help but think that was one of the most exciting tables matches I've seen in years.